Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and we have an amazing looking model to take a look at today. This is something I have been anticipating for a very, very long time, and I could not be more excited about the fact that it is finally here. We have the Wonders of the Wild series, Dunkleosteus from Star Ace, and... Again, Star Ace, in my opinion, has been absolutely killing it when it comes to this Wonders of the Wild series. They've already released a really cool Concavenator, which we've taken a look at here on the channel. They have a Mammoth out, which we also reviewed the prototype. We should be reviewing the actual model itself, the factory release version, very soon once that arrives. And then we now have this Dunkleosteus. There's also a Coelacanth, which I'll have a review up very soon as well. But man, does this Dunkleosteus look amazing. Like, this, in my opinion, is the best-looking Dunkleosteus model I've ever seen. Sculpt, paint, everything is fantastic. You can see a beautiful image here on the front of the box. And you can also see that this is sculpted by Sean Cooper. And that is the same individual who had sculpted the Concavenator that we have previously taken a look at. And also quite a few other models that I've reviewed in the past. I decided to kind of go up here and get a better look at this as far as the lighting goes. You can see a nice image here again of what the model looks like here on the side actually this would be the top of the box and yet again the wonders of the wild series logo right there and then here on the side again a really cool image of the head sculpt of our dunkleosteus as well as prehistoric creatures polyresin statue and then on the back again we have all sorts of information on the dunkleosteus as well as star ace and we again have kind of a sneak peek of what would be next in the line down here in the bottom left hand corner which is the spinosaurus which we have also kind of promoted in a news video recently, also looks amazing. And then on top of this, we've also got this. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is this? Well, this is the Star Ace Dunkleosteus fossil replica. You can see that there states it right there on the front of the box. This is something that you get with the deluxe version. So if you purchase the model, you have a standard, which is just the Dunkleosteus, or you can purchase the deluxe version, which includes this really cool fossil replica, or you can actually buy the fossil replica separate as well. There are individual listings, I believe, for that on Big Bad Toy Store where you could grab just the fossil replica. So definitely really cool to see them kind of give you the option to buy whatever part of this you would like individually or go the deluxe route and just grab everything right away, which I think is probably the best way to go. But you can see the box as far as this goes. It's just kind of like your standard box. It's nothing overly amazing as far as like box art or anything like that goes. And then again, information here on the back. So very, very excited to check this out as well. Pretty much just as excited to see this as I am for the Dunkleosteus. So we're going to break open all of the boxes right now and do just that. So first of all, here is our insanely awesome fossil replica. Like, wow, is that ever cool. That is so much cooler than I thought it was going to be. It is an incredible visual here to see the kind of fossil remains of a Dunkleosteus now fossilized and everything. That is absolutely awesome. Such a really cool idea on the part of Star Ace to be including those. If we put that back there, you also actually get this kind of really nice, very high quality sack that you can put this in if you're not going to display it. And I believe you can display this on the wall. And there's also a way to kind of display it on like a desktop. So you have options as far as that goes as well. And then we've got our Junkalosteus model itself right there readjust the camera and man is that ever amazing honestly let me remove this back here just for a moment so it's not kind of blending in there with that really cool fossil replica but boy oh boy is that ever an insanely impressive model the paint application of this is super nice looking really high quality and the overall sculpt in general just screams realism and then on top of that you have that awesome base there underneath really completing the scene here re creating an incredible image from our prehistoric oceans and man is that awesome like i am really really impressed with this first of all i love the pose for the dunkleosteus it's not anything that's like overly dramatic or crazy or anything like that it's just kind of swimming along and uh looks nice and natural as it does so it does have the mouth open so maybe it's kind of closing in on something to grab itself a little meal but uh, definitely, again, a lot of realism that I'm picking up on on this model. So let's go ahead. We're going to jump straight to a closer look at both this and the fossil replica right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Dunkleosteus, look at how amazing that looks, especially the very fine detail, like this very, you know, kind of heavily armored type look for the head 
of the Dunkel Osteus. And then you get nice and close and you check out the really fine detail of that area, the texturing and everything. And it is really, really impressive, honestly. And on top of how impressive the sculpt is, the paintwork they've given this is super, super nice looking. The paint scheme looks again about as lifelike and realistic as it honestly can get for a Dunkel Osteus. All of the paint application is super smooth as far as the application goes. And they've added in so much realism, even with the paint itself like i love first of all the tones of color we have this really nice reddish tone but as you move through you can kind of see variations of reds throughout kind of like variations of pinks and reds kind of mixed and blended together you can see darker tones up here on the top of the head and you also have this blackish tone that kind of like designs all over the place here really again creating a very striking visual of the Dunkel Osteus and I like how they've kind of given this a wash kind of like a grayish wash in certain areas here in between the different areas here on the top of our Dunkel Osteus again highlighting those areas but also just really making it look super lifelike and realistic and you can see they continue to do that kind of highlighting uh, those different areas beautifully and it runs the entire head sculpt here of our Dunkel Osteus. You can also see the gills here and you can see that area is painted very nicely with a pinkish coloration and there's also a nice gloss coat in there. The entire thing kind of has a shine to it but it's not overly shiny but you can really take note to that kind of glossy look on the inside there of the gills. As you come up here to the front of our Dunkel Osteus, you can take note to the nostrils. You've also got the eyes painted really nicely. The eyes are painted with an orangish tone given a black pupil. And they also sport a fantastic gloss coat on those as well. And then you've got those classic Dunkel Osteus plates here in the front of the mouth. They as well look incredibly cool. They're painted kind of with like an off-white, sort of resembling teeth, even though they're actually not teeth. But you can see that the inside of the mouth, again, also sports those really nice kind of pinkish tones. And looking at the actual inside of the mouth, let me just move the camera back here a little bit. There you go. You can see the inside of the mouth looks amazing in there. Really nice texturing. Also a beautiful gloss coat added for the inside of the mouth of our Dunkel Osteus. It's a little hard to really get in there since the shadows are kind of overtaking it a bit. But there's also kind of like a reddish wash, almost like a blood type reddish wash that I'm picking up on in there that looks really cool. If we turn it upside down, there you go. You can kind of get a better idea of how the detail looks on the inside of the mouth. Again, super, super cool looking. So again, just loads of realism here in the head sculpt of our Dunkel Osteus. And the texturing is just off the charts here as you move through the model. It is just incredible. As you lead down here into the fins, you can again see really nice variation of color. We transition from those kind of reddish tones and like the reddish brown tones to more of just a darker brown tone for the body. But you could see like alternate tones of brown in there as well as blacks and stuff. And then as you lead out into the actual fin itself, there's this really cool, really subtle striping that moves through. And the detailing of the fins is honestly fantastic. And they seem to have given kind of like a dark wash to the fins as well to just add a little bit extra as far as coloration and realism goes and you can kind of see like variations of greens and browns and everything in there just really realistically painted as you move back up here into the body look at how amazing the paintwork is for this there is just so much really nice really subtle color to this a lot of depth to the paint job and you can just see that here as i'm kind of turning it and allowing the light to hit it it is honestly one of the most impressive factory paint jobs I think I've ever seen. Like this looks like it was painted by a complete professional, you know, paleo artist. But in reality, it is a factory paint job. But again, probably one of the most impressive ones that I think I've ever seen. And you can see as we move through our Dunkel Osteus, you can again pick up on some nice texturing. But overall, you can kind of see a nice smooth appearance like you would expect to see. But you can just kind of see like bends in the body and stuff just showing off more realism to it. You can also kind of pick up on the uh, ribs right here, it looks like, right along that area. So again, adding in a little bit of extra as far as the detail goes. You can also see that we have kind of like this really cool striping effect that runs down the center of our Dunkel Osteus that kind of stripes down, but also heads the other way, which looks cool. But again, look at how neat that paint job is there as far as the different tones. And you can even see like reddish and pinkish tones, very, very subtle application of those tones showing up here in the stomach region. 
and just again lots more color and then as you move up here to the dorsal fin you can again see it looks just pretty much like the other fin did as far as the detailing and the coloration goes so we also have those kind of stripes and everything up here like we saw on the previous fin but I love how you can kind of see like curvatures in the fin and you can kind of see how the water is hitting it as it moves through just again adding even more realism to the model really just taking it from kind of like a stagnant pose and bringing it to life and then as you move down here you can again see the rear fin also look Looks great again pretty similar to what we saw on the front same style of sculpt and paint again with those stripes and the tones of color same deal goes for this fin here and then as we move out into the tail first of all you can again see kind of like some reddish tones and stuff picking up up here which looks absolutely awesome but then you also see more of that striping as you lead out here toward the tip of the tail and the tail fin looks exceptionally awesome you can again see so many different tones of color kind of like a wavy look to the tail fin as well again as the water just kind of runs through it it almost takes you to the moment that this Dunkleosteus was alive because there's just so much life added to the sculpt as well as the paint and I also like that the tail lightens and kind of comes to like a really light pinkish tone here as we lead out toward the tip of the tail and then when we move to the other side of the head again of our Dunkleosteus you can see how nice that paintwork is for the eyes as well as just generally the entire body and I love how they show Showing off the movement here with the mouth opening up and the gills kind of extending again due to the movement there of the mouth and uh, again you could see that it looks pretty much exactly as it did on the initial side but that just means that it is absolutely overloaded with realism incredible sculpt and paint you've got the fin out here again I really really do love those stripes on the fin super super cool looking very realistic touch as far as that paintwork goes and you can again see that girth in the stomach region you've got the area here on the underside to kind of attach it to the base but you can see even really nice very very subtle paintwork here on the underside like let me get nice and close look at how incredible that looks i don't know how good that's picking up on camera but boy is this thing ever phenomenal as far as the paintwork goes and just how subtle some of the paintwork really is you can even see again here in the stomach region like some really light hints of like reds and pinks showing up in certain spots and again that really cool very very subtle design that they have down there and then as you lead up again you transition in color up to variations of browns but also kind of like some tints of red up here you have that cool striping effect again like we saw on the previous side you also have a little bit of creasing right here again kind of showing off the movement of our Dunkleosteus as it's swimming along and then again the fins look great back here as well just like they did on the initial side you can really pick up on again that cool design that uh, is pretty much rampant through the entire model here and then again the dorsal fin also looks amazing and then as you lead out you can again see how beautiful that tail is I again love that lighter coloration as we reach out here into the tail you can see the turn in the tail as well as our Dunkleosteus is swimming along and then if we take a look here at the underside again just really really nice looking as far as the detailing goes you can kind of see like some slight creasing in the skin there as the uh fins are moving and again as you lead up here you have another area of like kind of like armored type of a look and then you can see more of the kind of pinkish tones here on the underside boy and you also can see that you even have the coloration here those kind of really subtle stripes on the undersides of the fins but I am just completely blown away by how beautiful this Dunkleosteus is there is no doubt in my mind that this is the best Dunkleosteus I've ever seen in my life and then as far as our base goes I do like the fact that the base is a really nice wooden look for it here and you can see that it's very very nicely painted with a black but then as you move up into the little area that we have that connects to our Dunkleosteus you can see quite a bit of life going on here quite a bit of different aquatic species you've got some fish and stuff that are also really nicely painted you can see some beautiful tones of blue there on those really striking blues and even kind of like some light grays here along or even more like a silver along the sides and the entire thing is just incredible as far as a detailing standpoint goes and you can just see this thing is completely coated and overloaded with life throughout you can see all sorts of different things going on incredible detailing as well as some beautiful paintwork some nice purplish tones as you move through here and uh again it is just about as incredible of a base as you're going to find for a Dunkleosteus model it really doesn't get any better than this and the paintwork is really precise just overall a perfect base for obviously in my opinion the best Dunkleosteus of all time 
And then our fossil replica looks super, super cool as well. You can see that we have this really nice rocky backdrop for it. And then uh, quite a bit of realism as far as that goes. Like that looks as realistic and legitimate as it gets when it comes to kind of like a rocky bank. But the actual skeletal remains here again are incredible looking as far as the detailing goes. But also the paintwork, there's a lot of different coloration added to that area. And there's also a lot of coloration added to the backdrop, that rocky area. As you can see, many different very varying tones of grays and kind of like very, very dark gray dry brushing and stuff to highlight all of the insanely realistic detail throughout. But just like I said, with the skeletal remains here, again, you can see all sorts of different variations of tans and browns, and it's all really nicely applied, very precise as far as the paintwork goes. So it really is like the perfect addition to this model, not just because it's, again, a really cool fossil replica, but imagine having that Dunkleosteus displayed with this back behind it again, just showing off the Dunkleosteus when it was alive, and then, of course, the fossil remains as well. And then the back also just kind of has this really nice kind of super high quality back to it. But you can see again the areas where you can apply it to the wall if you have some nails or screws or something into the wall. You've also got the Dunkleosteus name down there. And then you also again have the area down here where you could put some screws in and then it would sit up on your desktop. So overall again it's very nice very heavy actually has a really really high quality feel to it and the only other thing that was included with this is actually a nameplate so on top of everything you get a nameplate to further the display of your Dunkleosteus, which again just tops the entire thing off perfectly as far as a size goes for our fossil replica you are looking at lengthwise Closing in on about 17 and a half inches or around 44 and a half, almost 45 actually centimeters. So very, very big. And uh, for a height, about eight inches or 20 centimeters. And then for our Dunkleosteus, for a length, you are looking at about the, I'd say about 15 and a half inches or around 39, closing in on 39 and a half centimeters. And then for a height, now this is of course with it up off of the ground because it is on the base. You're looking at about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. It's not exact science as far as that goes. It's not a perfect measurement because it was back a little bit further, but definitely what I would think would be a right around that measurement. But for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex hiding back there behind the Dunkleosteus. You almost can't even notice him back there. And you can also see again the attack pack Colovisaurus and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line. But if we take this up off of the stand here and you kind of get up above, you might be able to get a pretty good idea, a better idea roughly of what the size is. And again, how large this Dunkleosteus is. It's actually quite large, definitely. I mean, it is a very big species, so you would expect it to be pretty big, but it's quite a bit larger than I was honestly expecting, which is never a bad thing. That's definitely a very good thing. But for another size comparison, and we took the fossil replica out of the way just to kind of give you a better idea here as far as the size between these two, we have the Wonders of the Wild series Concavenator next to the Wonders of the Wild series Dunkleosteus. And you can just see overall, like this is definitely with without a doubt one of the best lines going currently when it comes to prehistoric collectibles like this is as top of the line as it really does get that concavenator is just drop dead gorgeous this Dunkleosteus is also drop dead gorgeous two of the most beautiful prehistoric models I have here in my collection and again here hopefully gives you a good idea of the size if you happen to have the concavenator already and then for one final comparison since I don't really have any Dunkleosteus models in my collection that can even remotely compare Pete with this, whether it's the paint job, the sculpt, it, quality in general, but also just the size. Like I have no Dunkleosteus that are even remotely near as large as this one is. So I just kind of grabbed quite a few different random figures that I've been using for different comparisons here and threw them all together to kind of give you an idea as we have figures from Mattel. We also have Safari LTD, Takara Tomy Collect Day, quite a bit in here again to just kind of give you that one last possibility as far as trying to give you a pretty good idea again of the fact that this is definitely a very sizable model. So this Star Ace Wonders of the Wild Dunkleosteus is, boy, I don't even know that words can describe how beautiful this is. This thing is just one of the most beautiful models I have ever seen 
in my entire life. Not even just saying it's the most beautiful Dunkleosteus, which there's no doubt in my mind that is the case. It is one of the most beautiful models in general, and especially when it comes to a factory painted and uh, released model. Like, I would imagine this paint job being on like the prototype from an incredible paleo artist that painted it up to look super lifelike and realistic, but that is not the case. This is what you actually get from the factory, which is just amazing to me because it's probably one of the nicest, most realistic paint jobs I've seen on a prehistoric collectible ever. And it's not just the model itself, like the Dunkleosteus, the base as well sports some of the nicest sculpt and paint work that I've ever seen on top of everything. So there's just a lot to admire about this set. Again, also the fact that it is quite sizable. It does have a pretty impressive size overall, which is even cooler because on top of it looking striking when it comes to the coloration, striking when it comes to the base and the sculpt, the size as well is very impressive. I think that the positioning of the Dunkleosteus is pretty much perfect. It's not overly dramatic or unrealistic. It's nice and natural as it just kind of swims along. I love the fact that the mouth is open, showing kind of like an aggressive appearance for the Dunkleosteus, definitely showing you the frightening side of this fish, but also, again, just also showing off the beauty of the Dunkleosteus as you progress through the entire model. And the fine detail is on point. Trust me, it really is. It's some of the nicest detail as well that I've ever seen on a model of this species and then on top of that the paintwork is insane with so much depth to the paint job the paint scheme itself is also really appealing and 100 naturalistic totally the type of color i could see a dunkelosti as being and then on top of all of that the base is again so beautiful there's a lot going on down there it is just completely overloaded with different creatures down there underneath our Dunkleosteus as the Dunkleosteus just kind of swims by. It almost looks like the fish are kind of trying to like make a mad dash to get away or something like that. And then on top of all of that, you also have that gorgeous fossil replica. Again, something that you can purchase with the deluxe version or you can purchase this, you know, standalone if you would just like the fossil replica or you can purchase the Dunkleosteus standalone if you don't want the fossil replica or again both with the deluxe version but the fossil replica is incredible looking and definitely one of the coolest things you could hang up on your wall easily one of the best conversation starters I could imagine would be an insanely awesome looking model of some Dunkleosteus remains you know fossilized remains so a gorgeous addition to an already incredible release as a whole, this is one of my favorite models that I have ever had the pleasure of reviewing here on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and definitely a centerpiece for any collection, there is no doubt about that. So if you are interested in picking this up, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on Big Bad Toy Store. So make sure you grab this gorgeous Dunkleosteus before it sells out, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.